Black Mask is an interesting one. He's not really one for superpowers aside from in a few rare instances, so he's more of a traditional gangster villain with a facial gimmick. But that doesn't make him any less creepy or intimidating. So let's count down our top 10 scary Black Mask facts. Number 10. He killed his parents. Black Mask was originally known as Roman Sionis, the heir to a cosmetics company known as Janus Cosmetics. At the age of 21, he became its vice president and fell in love with a model named Circe. His parents did not approve of Circe and sought to fire her. However, Roman pretended to accept their decision and instead proceeded to kill both of his parents in a mysterious fire. So it just goes to show, treat your children well lest they grow up to be supervillains, in which case you're their first target. Number 9. He was dropped on his head at birth. So if Black Mask actually had half decent parents, this would be the most terrifying thing that could ever happen for the parents of a newborn child. But seeing as they were pretty much garbage human beings, shortly after his birth, Black Mask was dropped on his head. It's hard to say if it was this or the years of abuse that led to Black Mask's complete lack of empathy, but at the very least, it was one more strike against humanity. His origin story quotes, People forever after said there was something strange in his eyes, a certain dullness which never fully concealed the burning. Which, between this and everything else that's going to happen to the character, yeah, let's just say he had a rough life from the very start. Number 8. Face Melt So, despite the fact that his name is Black Mask and not Black Skull, that mask is actually fused to his face. After a battle with Batman and Robin, Roman tripped into the fire he himself set, and the mask permanently melted into his skull, making it a permanent fixture upon his face. Jeez, that's a Goosebumps level nightmare. So take that as a lesson kids, Hyromania doesn't pay off. I mean, unless you're murdering your parents, that seemed to go okay for him. Number 7. Torture While Black Mask is more of a gangster than a supervillain, what really sets him apart from the other gangsters is his fascination in torturing his victims. Black Mask himself has stated he views it as an art and finds something appreciative in causing another pain. The origin of this concept came about after he read about the Spanish Inquisition, and he knows no relent. Black Mask once kidnapped the sister and brother-in-law of Selena Kyle, and after torturing the brother to death, forced her to eat her husband's remains, which drove her insane. I have to wonder who got the inspiration for this first, Black Mask or Cartman? Number 6. He was bitten by a raccoon. As a boy, Roman was typically ignored by his parents, who fell into pretty much stereotypical bad rich parents behavior. As a boy, he once ran into the woods and started chasing a raccoon, as he felt kinship with the creature which was also trapped in a lifelong mask. However, when he approached the raccoon, it was found to be rabid and attacked him, causing him to fall through the woods and develop a rabid fever. And while he ultimately recovered from the rabies, he felt that day was the day he was dragged into hell. Not a bad origin story. In another universe, he'd have been Raccoon Man, so this is a preferable alternative. Number 5. Mind Control Powers In the reinvention of the character for the New 52 lineup, Black Mask possessed a split personality, with Roman as one entity and Black Mask as the other. The Black Mask, however, had some kind of magical powers. After Arkham Asylum is attacked by the Talons during the Night of Owl storyline, Jeremiah Arkham gives Roman his Black Mask so he can control the inmate and force them to defend the Asylum so Arkham could then hide himself. Pretty intimidating power. Or at least, it would be. But it only works on weak-willed people, so Batman was basically immune. Ah oh, well, this dude doesn't need powers to be evil and creepy anyway. Number 4. He killed Robin. Sort of. Yeah, Black Mask actually killed a Robin, sort of. In the War Games storyline, Black Mask actually did kill Stephanie Brown, the fourth Robin. Black Mask tortured her and eventually shot her, and while she made it to a hospital, she ultimately did not survive. Or at least, she was thought to have not survived. It turned out in Robin's spoiler special number one that Stephanie's death was fake so she could keep what she knows to herself. So, at least Black Mask thinks he killed a Robin, and was willing to kill someone so close to Batman, and let's face it, that takes some guts. Number 3. The founder of Arkham Asylum was once Black Mask. The founder of Arkham Asylum, Jeremiah Arkham, actually became the second Black Mask for a short period. During the time when Bruce Wayne was thought to be dead and Dick Grayson was Batman, Jeremiah Arkham appeared as another Black Mask and blew up Arkham Asylum, partially attributed to him developing schizophrenia. 
As Black Mask, Jeremiah would employ explosive chips inserted into his inmates to control them. However, this was promptly stopped by Grayson Batman and led to Jeremiah being captured inside Arkham Asylum. So a schizophrenic insane asylum operator was using the asylum to build a criminal empire while taking another villain's identity. Yep, sounds like a Batman villain. Number 2. He controlled Bizarro. In Red Hood and the Outlaws Volume 2 Issue 5, utilizing a techno-organic virus, is able to control the mind of Bizarro. Almost. This could have been pretty dangerous had it not been for the inability for him to control that mind of Bizarro fully and eventually the virus overwhelming him, leaving him in a catatonic state. Like literally a catatonic state. It basically destroyed his mind. Kind of a lame way to lose your fight against Red Hood, but what can you do? He did have a pretty powerful pawn for a while at least and had the potential to be dangerous, so he was scary for like 20 minutes. Number 1. He controlled all of Gotham. This was pretty much the apex of Black Mask's achievements. After discovering that the War Games plan was designed to unite all the criminals under a single leader, Black Mask announced that it would be he who would be taking over Gotham City. And despite ultimately losing his fight with Batman, the criminals still heralded him as their leader. No other villain in the Batman universe has ever achieved this, so Black Mask actually pulled off something pretty noteworthy here. Not bad considering the last item on this list. And that concludes our top 10 scary Black Mask facts. This dude's creepy on all kinds of levels. What's your favorite Black Mask story? And what do you think of Ewan McGregor portraying him in the upcoming Birds of Prey movie? I'm just hoping the movie is good after what happened with Suicide Squad. Anyway, that's all for now. Take care and have a good one.